Hi, this is the USDCHF pair and today it's uh, 29th of May 2013 and uh, the time is 8.02 GMT. Um, we are looking at the H4 chart of the pair. We know that the pair is in an uptrend and but it had a, a, a corrective downward move and it's reversing and it's uh, resuming its uptrend after that plunge. Uh, we want to enter planter long and we want to find the right point, the right entry point, uh, so we avoid um, experiencing more plunges against our position, although we know that even if there are plunges, they will be minor. Uh, but it's market and you never you, you can be 100% uh, sure. So we, uh, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hio and I have superimposed Bollinger Bands, Alligator, the three lines, and Fractals, the, the purple arrows, uh, which are Alligator and Fractals are Bill Williams um, indicators. Um, you will see uh, why I use both systems, because I get confirmations uh, on, on certain uh, evaluations, on certain signals, and they are both uh, strong and accurate. Uh, I, I, I can't say that I love one more than the other. <laughs> I love both. So um, let's see the big picture. Definitely bullish on the daily chart. You see the leading Kumo is bullish. The edge is almost going to be sharp pointing upwards. Uh, uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijen Sen going crazily upwards and they are tangled with uh, with uh, alligator. The three uh, lines that made this this uh, angle and now they go straight up are alligator, leading alligator. Um, Chiku Span, the green line of uh, Ichimoku uh, is going uh, above past price action but it made this uh, angle because of this move here and uh, sorry it makes this angle because of this candlestick the last candlestick which is uh, bearish and we want it to turn upwards but we may plan our entry before um, weekly chart on the weekly chart we see chiku span the green line here going straight up um, the leading kumo is bearish but uh, this formation is almost a flat top and belly, belly down, which is bullish formation. And we just had a bullish crossover of second span A and second span B, and it's going to give birth to a, to a bullish Kumo, which will uh, go upwards from here. And leading, leading alligator is turned upwards, definitely bullish, bullish biases, and uh, the Bollinger Bands show on the weekly chart, which is what we are looking at, uh, show that they are in contraction. So we should expect a big boom, a big explosion, a breakout. Um, monthly chart. Okay, on the monthly chart, the pair tries to penetrate the Kumo and go uh, from the other side to have a bullish breakout but still the environment is bearish on the on the monthly chart weekly is bullish uh, daily is bullish uh, h4 is bullish h1 is bullish m30 is bullish but we must see now the details and how we can plan our entry we are on the H4 chart or on the daily chart we see that although everything is bullish the pair is making a corrective move that's good for, for us because it would be ideal to enter long when this corrective move ends so if we buy from the lowest possible point we uh, m maximize our profitability okay so the daily candlestick doesn't help us much because we don't know if this correction 
uh, is going to end because the leading alligator is bullish so it doesn't help us regarding this very smooth so we go to the H4 chart still the leading alligator is bullish so we it can't help us understand when this bearish move will stop uh, on the on the H1 chart we see that the leading alligator is turned downwards I, it it's curved downwards it's bearish and it sh says that this move uh, is going to continue for a while it's minor move it's corrective move but it's going to continue for a while and I go down to M30 uh, chart to see how long it's going to continue we see that the leading alligator here is curved strongly downwards and it says it will go for a while and um, we see that the uh, the edges of the Bollinger Bands are opened they uh, are turned outwards which shows that the volatility will increase and since we have a bearish secondary move secondary wave it means that this move has uh, a bit of way to go for now so we must go down down to smaller time frames and see if there is a signal that this move is stopping um, m15 chart it says that you see leading alligator is wildly curved downwards and the leading kumo the edge of the leading kumo is curved it, it's it's giving a bearish uh, formation here um, so it means that on m15 chart we haven't st stopped yet this move will last a while at least till it touches the other bollinger band the opposite bollinger band here m5 the M5 chart shows that this move is strong. This bearish move will go for a few more uh, candlesticks, five-minute candlesticks. Uh, leading alligator is falling, is falling down, and uh, the lower Bollinger Band is straight down. It is not curved inwards, which would mean that it, the, the, down, the down move is stopping for now no it doesn't happen uh, we have this on the upper Bollinger Band which says that the, uh, the upward move will stop for now but not for the lower the lower shows that there will be continuation in this fall there will be continuation and the Bollinger Bands always want to contain the price they contain the price and they measure the volatility which means that if they expand it means that the price will go lower okay so we don't get an entry signal from the m5 chart yet let's go to the m1 chart on the m1 chart we have uh, the leading alligator being uh, falling down um, the lower Bollinger band the the edge is not turned inward yet so what we wait for we wait for the outer edge the lower uh, the edge of the lower Bollinger Band to turn inwards to make a curve like this we want the leading alligator the leading alligator on M1 chart to go upwards to turn upwards to become bullish and once we see that on the M1 chart we will go to the M5 chart and wait to see also the leading alligator on M5 chart to turn bullish which is not happening now when we see on M1 and M5 that uh, the leading alligator is turned bullish and and the edge of the lower Bollinger Band is curved upwards and it closes and uh, uh, and co and includes the price contains the price then it means that this corrective downward move is stopped for now and we may enter long we may enter long expecting uh, the price to resume upwards from that point if you don't see that if you don't get the confirmation on the m1 chart and on the m5 chart 
and on the M15 chart that the leading alligator has turned bullish and that the, the price is being contained, is being closed by the Bollinger Bands, don't enter long. Wait till you get those confirmations. And then, before you enter long, make sure that the higher time frames, um, M30, H1, and H4 are 100% bullish. The moment you enter, make sure that the higher time frames are 100% bullish. Okay. So we can't give an, a, an exact signal for now. Uh, but I explained to you the way um, you should be thinking uh, while setting up your trade. So um, thanks for watching and happy pips.